Congrats on being asked to be a guest on a Zoom recorded podcast. It's Derek here at Castaway Studios, and I'm going to run through some of the basic uh, preparations you can do to get ready for the big moment. Don't panic. This is not hard. We just need to go through a few steps to avoid bad quality audio and spending a lot of time getting things set up while we're supposed to be actually recording the content. So step one, check the time that you've set the interview at. The reason I say that is quite often we're in the habit of choosing a time that suits everybody. Let's say there are two hosts and you're the guest. 7 p.m. is perfect. You're all going to be free. But you must think about the internet. Okay, this is online meetings. It requires reasonable amount of internet speed. And if you pick a time and everyone's at home using the NBN or whatever, you know, uh, local internet there is that's under extreme pressure at that time of day when everyone finishes work, be aware and try and choose a time. And if, if you know your internet is going to be bad around that time, don't be shy. Let them know. Because the, the whole point is about recording good content. And if it gets glitchy and stalls, then you won't get any content at all. So... That is critical. Make sure it's a good time for your internet as well as your availability. Step two is equipment. Number one, please don't use your phone because I want you to have the screen big enough to see the hosts on the screen and see what's happening and be engaged in that, okay? So when you use the phone app, you've got to select who you're looking at, okay? And you don't want to do that. You want to be able to sit back in a comfortable position and engage in a conversation slash interview. Secondly, the computer will have better inputs for headphones and separate microphones, and things like that, whereas a telephone's got, will have one, in, one input. Uh, so you have to have a combo and we'll get to that later on. Secondly, you're, you're better off with a laptop because you can actually put it in an ideal room and we'll get to the choice of room in a little minute. All right, so um, a laptop will be better up to a point. Okay, headphones. Um, I'm doing headphones before microphones, so I think they're a number one critical thing. Not the quality or the choice, just that you have them. Don't, please don't sign on to be a guest on a Zoom a podcast without headphones. Okay, you must have headphones. There's, there are a lot of technical reasons for that. Uh, but primarily, uh, you need the sound coming that you hear not to be in the room around you and trying to go into your microphone. It takes a lot of pressure off the software uh, that's trying to process the audio and remove what it thinks is coming out of the speakers from what's going into the microphone and gives a more robotic sound and a lot more pressure on the whole system. So yeah, I just have to have headphones. Don't freak out if you've got headphones that include a microphone and the microphone's not what you want to use because it's a bit crap and you've bought a fancy Yeti or something like that. Don't freak out. Later on, we'll get to the settings where you can choose those headphones, ignore the microphone on them and use whatever microphone you want. So don't freak out, but you have to have headphones. All right, so the good one, the microphone. I will start from the top. Ideally, you're gonna to wanna to be using a, a USB microphone. So you can plug it in and you and you pretty much just choose it in the settings that we'll get to later. And, and there you go, the microphone's working. There are things like the Rode USB, uh, NT-USB, which is a beautiful sounding microphone. There's a Rode USB Mini, which, I've ha which I have here. That's what they look like, okay? So I've got, this normally comes on a little stand magnetic, so you can actually just lift it off the stand and hold it. But it also has a thread in there, so it's ideal if you're in the shop to buy a little a little cheap $20 mic stand that you can adjust the height and get it right. Mic proximity is so very important. It's no good 
it's absolutely no good having one of these uh, fancy pants USB microphones and having it sitting uh, two or three feet away or even a foot away because it's going to, in a domestic situation, it's going to be gathering all the sound that's bouncing off the walls and the, the fridge and the ceiling and creating a, a, an echoey sound. All, and also, you'll have to, uh, the editor will have to raise the sound floor up, which will bring in all the noise from the street and the, the cat and whatever. It's very, very, very important that you work away to get your microphone this no further than that from your mouth but not straight at it i'd rather you didn't uh, if you get a product that has a pop filter in front of it fine get up there and be your radio star but if you can get it as close as you can point the diaphragm that's in this case it'd be there towards your mouth but don't point your mouth towards the microphone uh, to avoid that watch the listen to this peter piper pick to pick hear that that's the air flow messing with the the audio being grabbed so just have it below your mouth pointing at your mouth and go for it and just be be aware not to just point your mouth straight at it that's well that's going to be the the best way to get them the fullest sound uh if you could just capture what's in your mouth and not in the room it wouldn't even matter where you are and we'll get to that in a minute other microphone possibilities are the one that's already on your laptop right that is uh not ideal because you have absolutely no choice than being a couple of feet away okay so they might be quite a good quality for a conference and whatnot but it will be no, no it's not good enough for this okay it's it's not good enough there is one other choice um if you're use if you have a webcam here's one i prepared earlier right something like that that's a little uh just a little webcam uh, they have reasonable microphones in an emergency so if you had a webcam um, you would it, for, you would use that webcam as a microphone and have it quite near you but you would select the video source to be the one that's on board your macbook or your laptop or something like that or even your desktop so you choose if you need two webcams one to act as a microphone that's an emergency all right other choices are the they're like a gaming headset uh, go and grab one off your kids and put them on don't keep that microphone right there or it'll be catch, catching all the airflow keep it reasonably close but at the side of your mouth and and then t test it out later in the settings when we get to the settings we'll show you how to just go through all the different ones you have so you can actually listen to which one is the best before you get on and test it are the airpods better than the the old-fashioned string one that has the mic you know on the string you know is the laptop uh, microphone better than the gaming headset things like that okay so i'm on the desktop now first thing i want you to do is open zoom and it will look like this on a desktop okay and the top right you can go to the settings if you ever can't see that you can go to your little icon there and there's the settings okay i'll bring those in here i'd advise going straight to video and there you go so in this camera setting and you can do this uh during a meeting you can change your cameras you'll choose the camera that you want to use okay so it's all about just finding uh if you've got a couple of webcams plugged in um, if you've got a webcam plugged into a laptop you'll have the choice of using the onboard laptop camera or your webcam things like that going to audio here's where it gets interesting so you will have a speaker when they say speaker they mean your headphones because i've already said no speakers you have to have headphones okay so you will choose your headphones um, so it might be set to your onboard uh, laptop speakers and you want to change that i've got this running through um, my roadcaster pro uh, desk so i want them to i want it to go out through there and then into my headphones but if you've got usb or bluetooth headphones you will select them on there and that that is the level that that you will hear things it won't affect the recording down here is more important uh, so microphone is where you choose the microphone so this is the my mixing desk and if you look here that you can you can also choose 
uh, uh, the webcam that's overhead, uh, some other things, and somewhere down here we'll see the desktop microphone Rode NT USB. So that is this baby here that I've got plugged in for demonstration purposes. It's plugged in as soon as I plugged it in, it appeared on this list. So I can click that, and then I'm using this mic this microphone for Zoom. Uh, and this microphone still being used to record this video. Quite often this is checked, automatically adjust volume. Please uncheck that. And I want your volume to be, let's start at about 60%. Okay, it's very, very easy for an editor to bring up the volume, but especially in this type of software, once you've clipped, if you bellow into the microphone or there's a big noise or you speak louder than you did during the test, there's no coming back that that will just, there'll be no sound recorded. Your voice will just be cut straight off when you go to a certain level. So I'd rather start off quieter and then uh, now you know where the settings are, that can easily be adjusted to suit everyone at the start of the recording. One thing I recommend is mute microphone when joining a meeting. Now I recommend setting that up and remembering that you've set that up so that when you join a meeting, you know not to start talking until you've actually turned your microphone on. I do that because quite often I'll join a meeting, no one's there, I'll go off, uh, put the kettle on and I don't want to come back uh, on the phone or yapping away and, real, and, and the room is in the middle of a meeting. So I recommend that. Um, the, the same goes with video you can actually have um, turn off the video when joining a meeting so that means when the meeting starts up the it, my logo will be on there or whatever my little um, whatever my little avatar is will appear in the middle until I turn the video on and I'll show you all that in a little minute so now you're good to go and you're waiting on the recording so before the meeting starts, open up your Zoom, give yourself 10 minutes just to check everything and have a look here. So if you've been given, if someone's texted you through the meeting number and the password, there might, there's not always a password, then you would click join. Okay, and I'll put that there. So you join meeting and pop in uh, the meeting number uh, the name you want to appear on there and that is where you can also uh, manually select whether your audio and your video start the meeting and then once those once that's in there you click the join button and you will join the meeting and it will show your logo and you will see and hear anyone else that's engaged in the meeting right so that's how you do it manually you're more than likely to have a link that you just click and I'll show you that in a minute. So for this example, I've got Josh Jansen inviting me onto a Zoom meeting for me to be the guest on. And so all I'm gonna do is wait for the email to arrive. Okay, so uh, my email's popped up and all I'm gonna do now is click the link. It will launch a web page, which I'll bring over here. If you've got Zoom installed, already you'll get a little dialogue box here saying do you want to open zoom which i'll do because i've got it installed already you've got it installed already because you've already been through all the processes we talked about earlier if you haven't and you're just reading this and you want to do it all in one hit then you just click download and run zoom there and the same thing will happen as this there we go please wait the meeting host so this this meeting if you were to read the email was scheduled for 11.35, oh, and there we are. So remember earlier, we talked about start your meetings muted and cameras off. Well, that, and don't be talking, like I'm doing this for the content, but don't be talking with your mic off or the host will be telling you off and saying, please unmute. So there you go, example. Hi, Josh, and thanks for doing this test for us. Basically wanted to give the punters uh, an idea of what the actual meeting would look like when it started and you got a good example of if you select uh, always mute and video off for the start if you select that for god's sake bottom left see where i'm waving the mouse 
that's the mute and video button mute so if it's like that and like that unmute means turn the mic on and start video means turn the camera on right so just like that so um, reconfirming what we talked about earlier in the settings this is the in meeting setting so near the mute button there's the up arrow and it's exactly the same as earlier where we you choose the microphone quite often if you plug something in it may take over as the automatic source uh, so here we've got the roadcaster pro stereo but i could also change it to the road usb mini in which case josh would be hearing my voice through that instead another important thing is the headphones make sure uh you don't have your headphones on but it's your your stereo blasting the sound from the laptop because uh, uh, you'll enjoy it a lot more if it's coming through your headphones and it won't ruin the recording just at the bottom here you'll see audio settings and we're back to that area where we were earlier i'll try and get them out of josh's face um and once again you've got the right gear and josh might say to me you're you you can you please do an audio test where you're laughing and and as you would be in the middle of the show in which case i'd go oh well <laughs> and he would be going all right well that's can you turn it down a little bit or up a little bit levels are good and he's happy with that thanks a million josh for uh, helping us out here josh from the daily talk show uh, every day podcasting live thank you <laughs> bye bye and there you go this meeting has been ended by host and that's a wrap perfect so that pretty much sums up the the way to be a guest on a zoom recorded podcast headphones critical a good microphone important do your best please testing first go through this early and test it all first and um, and soft furnishing room and please don't just jump on and try and get away with using your iphone all right thank you good luck <laughs>